Education is the key to life, a narrative that can only be tested better by the residents of Kitera village in Rongo constituency. A sleeping beauty that has only been recently awakened by the construction of Rongo University, an institution that has only been nothing but a blessing to both residents and students. This village was uh, first of all prone to trouble classes and uh, with the advent of the creation of uh, Moi Institute of Technology we started receiving students from outside our, our, our area because students normally come from different tribes but there were not as many as now we have students in the university. When more University of Technology were transformed into the university, now the students have created a lot of business to the community. Hapa ilikuwa kichaka, sababu ilikuwa ni masamba ya watu. Sipokuwa huko juu kwa shule, kwa milima ya kitere, hapo ndiyo tulikuwa na primary schools. Ambapo ilikuwa inaitwa kitere primary school. Lakini yore hizi zote, hata maali ilami umepitia, hizi ni ilikuwa masamba ya watu. First of all, the road to this place was earth road, not uh, all time, I mean not all weather road. And when it would rain, we were to push the vehicles from off Kanga Junction, which is a tarmac road, to here, which is about two and a half kilometers. And it was very difficult, but now with the advent of the university, we have a tarmac road coming here and even going past the university. This magnificent hilly village had been lying adamant with mainly small-scale agriculture and business as the major source of income for the community. But ever since the beginning of this learning institution with the current population of close to 9,000 students with 500 employees, the entire village has witnessed tremendous changes in development, significant expansion and growth on both agriculture and business at large. Evidence being the drastic emergence of buildings all over the village that was once quiet and scatteredly populated. A lot of things have really progressed in development. Infrastructure has changed. Commerce has changed. So many things have changed. I would say coming in of Rolling University with the acquisition of Charter in 2017, we have seen a huge change even in construction I mean buildings because the university is not taking up any building or construction of uh, accommodation and a public private partnership we as a community we have been enhanced in a way to construct accommodation for the students the real environment yeah, you adapt with the environment, alafu. Kuna facilities mengi sana. Huko hakuna kustruggle lati unaenda kwa mama kibanda, unapata hakuna. Yani, kila kitu, yani things that are there ni affordable. It has become a center of uh, business and therefore everybody is happy. Those who have got cows, they find where to sell milk. Those who are growing uh, vegetables, they find where to sell uh, horticultural uh, crops in the evening. And uh, because of uh, the student population, which is high, I can assure you, majority of people at Kitere are happy because they benefit in more than one way. Others have got a job, they are working within the university. Others have found uh, businesses, they are supplying what the students and the staff require. And others have put up structures and uh, they are collecting rent. So uh, the government did the right thing by opening up Longo University in the rural setup so that the rural community can also benefit from what they have seen in many places but was far from them but the government decided now to bring for them and I think uh, very good action by the government at the right time. <laughs> 
With the rapid growth of population in this area, the once vast land has now become priceless commodity that both investors and locals scrambles for as they both see opportunity presented by the institution to build hostels and business premises. Uh, I would like to say that the cost of land here has gone up, has escalated so much. Long before, well, up to 2010, we used to sell a piece of land, let's say a necker, for about uh, 250 to 300,000. And that was a, a necker of land in this particular region. With the advent of the university, the price cost of land escalated and now you can be talking of a piece of land up to 50 by 100 going for about 1.5. Quite a number of people have, uh, have constructed the hostels around uh, their homes and even as you're speaking don't even have agricultural lands because people have ventured into this business of hostels and uh, hotels. Kenya nzima. watoto. watoto. This place used to be dark, that it could not be noticed. Uh, but these days when you come, well, there's light all over. Evenings are the icing top here. Students flock the small businesses around buying their daily meals. Something that has put smile on the face of the mamambogas around who knew no joy before due to harsh economic situation. So women who used to, 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 to do hand, hand out, be given handouts for, 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 for petty jobs. Now they have turned to, to be serious business, serious business ladies. And some have now even known, known the essence of, of, uh, of table banking. Yeah? They could get those monies, they translate it into, into, in, into business. Yeah? Cash flow, I must say that it is very high because uh, all the students, all the students, they just buy from, from within. And uh, the locals from the area have also made it quite easy that a student can get whatever he requires within I mean, within some few range from where he stays, okay? Like, I stay around this place and shops are all over. Everything I require is at my disposal. Yeah. Stock nikileta inaisha tasikutano hivi na nileta zingine kwa sababu wanakuja wengi, wananunua. But they are not the only ones reaping from this blessing. Even students have taken a shot at their entrepreneurial skills acquired in classrooms and put into practice here. Some of them, while not in class, are running business amongst the locals and they are flourishing. Like that, like the population, you know, the population around is so is so high, and uh, the distribution of meat around is so low. So that's why I decided to open a branch here, so that uh, people can have meat for their supper and for their lunch. Yeah. Actually, it's booming. As that's why I've been existing and uh, I've been surviving through through the business. Mm. Yes. So Twenty customers buying meat and around around yeah. 30 customers buying potatoes there we have potatoes around we have tungus around we have these mabuis and kashatas ke mimi nafanya kazi ya kuuza smoky na mayai hapa shuleni kwa minaji litu ya kupata kitu kidogo angalabu ya kujisaidia hapa na pale chakula nguo na labda 
kulipa kama rent na fee ya shule. With the construction of a 5000 capacity library that is currently being constructed by Rongo University, a lot of business premises are currently being set up waiting for the completion of the construction. The library occasionally get hungry and they may look for food to eat. <laughs> And they also would want to use uh, the cyber cafe and therefore the business community definitely has every reason to be happy that the big library is coming up. Those who are uh, doing food business, they, they will definitely find people who would uh, purchase from them food so that they also have got money to take home. And now Rongo University Vice Chancellor Prof. Samuel Gudu is now calling upon serious investors to set up premises like banks, hotels, supermarkets since security has been enhanced and it is safe to trade. The university has brought in a very high population that were not here before. More services are now required. The banks are required for students to be able to deposit and withdraw their money. We realize that uh, uh, the community requires now a good number of people of them are trying to put up uh, buildings for students to live. And there are so many other services required, like hotels. When we have visitors, we don't have to, to drive them back to town. We need good hotels around this place. We need uh, uh, good roads. The banks should be here so that students don't lose money. Some of them have reported losing money in the vehicles when they are going to town to keep money or withdraw. And therefore we need those services. In fact, it is becoming a business center. The university is a business center requiring modern, modern, modern kind of business like, for example, supermarkets. It is so important that uh, such kind of services are brought close to the university for the students and staff so that nobody, a staff can be able to withdraw money within the university. That they don't have to travel back to town and say, I want to go back to the bank, give me some permission to go. I think when we get the modern services for business, this place would be much, much more improved. And I think uh, my appeal to those who are doing businesses like in the banks, those who are doing uh, empire businesses, those who have, who have uh, the need for supermarkets. I think with the population of the university alone going beyond around 7,000, and by the time we get students next week or next week but one, you, you're looking at over 7,000, way over 7,000 people concentrated in this area and the kind of services they require. I think it's a good they would provide good business. The customers' base is there. There's need for investors to come, especially the banking services in this area, because you find like during the time of deposit, maybe fees, maybe it's time for examination. You have to travel from here to Rongo Town or Nigori to deposit with the K KCB Bank. So it will be important if they launch um, most banks in this area, so as to reduce maybe transportation costs associated with traveling. Rongo University, gold mine of knowledge and innovation.